Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Randomizer. It is time for the run back, baby. Round two. Let's go. Well, technically, it's round three. I, I did have a round two kind of going, but, uh, well, it didn't go the best. Uh, he can't crit me, so I can't die, so I'll just... They have wrath. That's fucking OD. Are you kidding? Are you? <laughs> All right. What's in here? Hello. Oh yes. Oh, poor Dan. That bitch gave me nothing. That bitch gave me nothing. Fuck that bitch. Are you kidding? She literally gave me nothing. But that's okay. That's okay. Because it, it play test. It was basically a play test. Uh, Help me play with some of the fun options, and hopefully this will be still balanced and chaotic and hectic. Now we're gonna start not here, but at the miscellaneous for one of the most important parts with LM73. Shout out to the God with his own custom class patch, introducing new classes, a lot of hybrid classes for Bjork, which is very cool, very fun, gives a lot more utility, especially when it combines that with his own magic and weapons patch, introducing new weapons. For both magic and physical that offer a little bit more variety I, I peeked a little bit and seemed like there was like brave magic and something that other stuff that super affected armor knights it seemed cool it seemed nice and it seemed to give magic users a little bit more utility and hopefully they just won't fall off into a dumpster pile of garbage as they do in raiding Dawn. so that's good we'll, we'll come back we'll come back to the rest of this so random classes Everyone random. I toned down beasts and birds a good bit. I'd, I'd like some, it's fine, but with the new classes, the new magic weapons, the new physical weapons, it just... Bjork, we Bjork seemed funner. Like, I just, I just wanted more Bjork, and the, the beasts and birds are just kind of samey. They, they, they just attack, they don't do anything special. Uh, dragons are a little bit higher just because I want some dragons. It, it just might be fun. You never get them until the end game, and I, I, I didn't really get usable ones until, uh... You know, you know. I didn't get many useful ones. They weren't great. It was still the end game, actually. It was still part four. <laughs> the goose gauge is going wild. Plus one to twenty on each, no matter what. Gain, lose. It could be random all over the place. We got herons in the mix. Herons are going to be part of the set that you can get. We could get all three herons in part one. We get them all at the end of the game. I don't know, but it'll be fun. Random, baby. Random growths. 80% deviation, so w whatever your stat growth is, maybe it starts at 50, it can go up 80 points, or it can go down 80 points, with a minimum of 0, and a maximum of 50. High variation, it can be all over the place. All over the place, we can get gods, we can get losers. We get absolute chads again, because we had a couple, Soren, shout out to Soren, Numada, favorite. Starting stats, plus 8. Class stats plus eight, so high variation there as well. Possible plus or minus sixteen. Uh, capped stats. Last time we did fifty, just flat fifty every stat, and uh, it turned out for like the monsters, which was a lot of armor knights. Uh, they just had all the stats at fifty, which wasn't the most fun, because uh, it basically had the same utility as every other class in the game. Like, it, there was no difference between it and other classes. It was, it was kind of silly. So, instead, what I'm going to do is a flat increase by 15. So, all the stats go up by 15, and some of them get a little bit higher than 50. Some go below, but it's still... The caps still resonate with the type of class they are. So, if they are armor knights, their speed will still be a nuisance given what the caps are. Make sense? Also, stat boosters... <laughs> Can raise multiple stats and have <laughs> one to five on them. I don't know, it's fun. That, uh. <laughs> enemies. Random enemies. We're gonna include the spirits, which includes the spirits in the tower. They're gonna be, they could be possibly randomized into just regular Goombas. Enemies can't have siege tomes. We had a lot of fun. Fun, fun, fun. Last, on the first go round with siege tome, but. We, we, we've had that problem, and we're just gonna, like, let me live. Let me live. I want, <laughs> just let me, let me have a kind of normal one. We're already gonna have, like, a lot of shit going on, because 
I'm giving the enemy groves 40%. We were 30 last time, now we're at 40. We're going hard. High deviation, high killers. Everyone a killer. Boss stats are up. <sighs> Part 4 enemies got T3 classes. Enemies can have stronger weapons, randomized drops. All that good shit. They looking powerful. Next up, we got weapons. Variation. Uh, up and down. 5 might. 25 accuracy. 5 crit. So, in round 2 the fun time, I did a uh, plus 25 deviation of crit. And, uh, turns out the enemies got some very, very unfun weapons to fight against. Also, I don't want to change it too much. Like, I could even, like, dip this down to 4 because then it kind of, it might take away the utility of some of the new weapons. Uh, so I might just... I'll keep it at 3. I'll keep it at 3. I don't want it to go too crazy. No, yes I do. I, look, I can't resist my own temptations. Who, who, who am I kidding? I don't know who I'm trying to kid. Lagoo's weapons random. Make them shits crazy. Every Personal weapons are just weapons now. They just need a, a, a stat force. We're going to have to look for a specific character. Magic base Floretta. Just very nice stuff. Very easy. Characters, of course, the funnest part, randomized recruit order. We don't know who gonna be who. Include the enemies, the, which is mostly the bosses. They could be anyone. But random bandit, random bandit boss, that, that's like he's kind of the dark side. As always, very fun. Random affinity, random biorhythms, random authority stars, very nice. Just not, they don't have the biggest impact, but they're just neat little things to have. Skills, random skills, always fun. All dragons can use pool skills, very helpful for if you want to rotate those skills on the dragons. Random skill capacity, they cost different amounts, so... Which might actually give more benefit to those who get the skills naturally. Because you might take it off and it might be worth like 50. And you just never put it on again, so that can also add a little bit of uniqueness to the characters. <coughs> I, uh, I tried giving enemy skills, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna give the bosses skills, because that's okay. No one else is getting skills, though. It's not fun. It's, I, it's It turns out playing Fire Emblem Fates in Radiant Dawn, not a good idea. Just flat out a bad idea. Shop variation. Shops are random. Everything in the bargain bins random. Uh, these are just how weighted everything in the bargain bins are and the forges. I'm going to keep it as is. It seems fine. Sell promotion items and Satori signs. Money, money, money. We want money. We ain't lowering the price of Lagoo's Den. Money, money, money. I didn't use, I didn't buy enough stuff, and I felt a little sad about that, that I just didn't buy enough stuff. So I want to make sure I have a lot of money, so I every, sellable everything. And speaking of, back on the miscellaneous page, random event items, items in chess villages, whatever, all random. But money is no object. All coins become white gems and are worth 30k. I am going to buy a lot of money. This is... I'm going to buy a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of money from these coins, which is why I'm not afraid to set the enemies to 40% and not have my cat stats at uh, flat 50s or higher. I feel I'm going to work the shops this time around, and it'll be a lot of fun. Make hard mode great again. Enemy ranges on. Weapon triangle on. Map affinity. So on. Random movement. 2 to 11. Ooh boy, oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna get a couple of Ardens in this bitch. It's gonna be great. A <sighs> little bit of quality of life stuff that's just very nice. I get in the hill scroll, making the Black Knight fight easier. We get form shift scrolls, which can just be equipped into all Lagoos instead of having the fucking Royals. We can maybe possibly find a form shift and it'd be useful. Whisper's Bane, now it's lethality, because Whisper's Bane fucking garbage. <laughs> 1.5 AI, not trying to kill us. We don't, well, at least for the first turn. Jill and crew will hopefully have a turn to survive while we get in there and finesse them. It's like they knew that that's a hard chapter. I got stuck there a couple times before. Same thing with the chapter after that. Fiona, Fiona and her goons, they gotta run away. <laughs> And we might not be able to get there that fast. So at least we'll get an extra turn head start. Uh, Ike gets a friend. Move a friend to start a location with Ike in Endgame. He gets a friend to help fight the Black Knight. Very nice. And a couple of other goofy things. Knives get higher crit. Sure. Knives do need higher crit. They're kind of weak. 
horse parkour. Horses can use six phases of movement to climb ledges, which is kind of coward. Like they can climb ledges now, but might be a little counterintuitive with uh, random movement. <laughs> Uh, Druid summoners can use fire magic, light and sage can use dark magic for more variety than a locked into stuff, which is good with the different weapons we can get now. That's boosted on. Tormod starts promoted. It's like they knew that chapter was a fucking dickhead too. I don't know. Oh, Heather starts out blue. Looks like they knew that chapter was a fucking dickhead. It's like they watched me. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm turning those on. I'm keeping those on. Those were look. We had our fun the first time. I'm. They're staying off, or they're staying on. I'm sorry. Get a lot of Bexpa. Help raise units, which is very good. We may be able to abuse the uh, system now that we have caps set differently. Kurf and Ina not required. Not for the tower. Very good. Just because they might be bad and we don't know what they want. Chest keeps five uses. Good. We won't have a fee. Remove part four route. Give us different. Options, which is very fun. We can finesse that and end it quickly. And now, for the most important part that it didn't go over till the end. We are going to give all characters Paragon. Very important, because we want to train everyone. Because... Fire Emblem, choose my tower. The randomizer selects 10 random characters that will be required to enter the tower alongside the usual required six. So we gotta train everyone, because everyone, anyone could be going to the tower. We gotta make sure everyone ready. And that's it, we're set. I'm gonna randomize this. Making enemies weird. Miscellaneous, compressing, okay, okay, looking good. All right, and I will see you guys in game. Oh, and we are back in there. It feels good to be back, baby. We are gonna delete this test run to make sure that the run, 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 the run. And we are going to start a new game. No Peleus, I guess this time. Hard mode as always, ladies and gentlemen. We are going in there. Give it to us. Let's see what the randomizer has in store for us today. Part 1, Silver-Haired Maiden. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into a bravery. Let's go. Prologue under great. Okay, okay. Come on. No, no, no. We don't even know who those, we don't know who those characters are. Those are some random characters. The story stars these Goombas. These Goombas right here. Will you fucking... Oh, baby, an armor knight and an Aaron. Who the fuck... Are... Oh. <laughs> Maybe the cutscene did star them. I don't know. It could have, apparently. I didn't know. <laughs> All right, Edward and Makai. I didn't. Shit, I should have watched the cutscene. My bad. <laughs> Edward and Makai gotta get in there. They gotta throw hands. Oh, we're fighting armored knights. I hope their defense is not fucking radical badical. This looks scary. Okay. <laughs> well. <gasps> We're him! We're the coward! We're the bitch super coward from the volcano! What the- <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Shit- Oh my god, he's tanky too! And he got renewal! Let's go! Uh... Gods, how tanky are they? How do we do damage? Oh no. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> let's uh let's just let's just do this. Hold on. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay, okay. Wait, one more thing. Okay, how does this go? All right, 
for a couple turns to just kind of happen. Okay, let's, okay, wait, 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 wait. So, so I got a little distracted. Septimus, six strength, no speed, a lot of defense. Now, this is normally the part where I would go over the growth rates, but to have a little bit of fun, I'm not gonna look at them because they don't matter, I guess, because I have to use everyone anyway. So instead is that I'm going to make some way Somehow, it available for you guys to view the stats. Uh, it'll probably be in like the description or something. I don't know, but you'll be able to see them, and you guys can let me know if I'm having, if I'm in for a fucking wild ride or not. Uh, seven move, pretty average, honestly. Four move, all right, shit. Uh, everyone's tanky, and I don't know what to do. Everyone has like 22 defense. I hope that Leonardo can do some damage. Because Leonardo is going to have to save us. Because, yep, at least we get two experience. Hey, buddy. I'm not even going to bother wasting my iron sword in these fucking Goombas. All right. Hey, that is helpful. Let's go, Shinon, my best friend. Uncle racist. All right. Uh, <laughs> a little birdie told me. Oh, please don't mind that noise in the background. I got an Amazon package, and Piccolo is playing with the, the shit that's in the box. It's like a paper or whatever. Piccolo. Piccolo, I'm doing stuff here. We got Unky Shinon. Okay. This is workable. We have a unit. That does damage and has strength that they can use. Septimus is a hard, hard case to sell. You're a little hard case to sell, but this I can work with the heat. Ooh, stillness. That's okay. Shit. Okay, we got fire. Okay. Well, slowly but surely, eh? I think I'm definitely gonna train Septimus this way. Maybe we'll have a better go round on the second chapter. <laughs> I literally don't have a way to damage them outside of Shinon. Come on, Unki Shinon. What is, okay, so these guys have, that's pretty standard movement, honestly. What's your movement, by the way? Four, okay. Okay, not, not, ooh, oh shit. Oh shit, stars forever, bars and stars, let's go. I don't even know why I'm not just drawing them all in. It literally doesn't matter. No one can do damage to anyone ever. Yeah, I'm not wasting that. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Alright, sorry about that. Someone came and knocking at our door. I'm with very I just I just put Sheen on in the Oh they don't care. They don't give a shit. They're they're here for him. <laughs> they're here for the big Oh right, stillness, right. Impossible to detect. That's fucking radical. <laughs> Alright, well I'm <laughs> Shinon? Uh, get ready to carry, I guess. I, honestly, it's not bad. He can just walk wherever he wants. Like, who the fuck is gonna tell him no, right? I can't believe this is how we start. Can I at least get something useful, like from the boss? He got two speed. <laughs> Guys, he got two speed. He literally got two speed. I'm not putting that on. I mean, I guess I could have put it on for extra two experience, but I'm not that desperate. Oh wait, I have that long. I get that long sword. I saw it. Yay! Anything else from uh, these guys? What? My brain work. I'm glad they have slim swords and nothing else. And this guy has nothing to work. Okay. Cool. What are your stats? Okay, that's annoying. Not unworkable though. Also, we have the Dragon Shield, and just... Five defense! Okay! Understood, we have tanky boys. It's just the tank... party. <coughs> I 
Oh, God damn it! Oh, whatever. What is... Yeah, you're not doing shit to me. <laughs> and this is how the first chapter goes! All right! Fucking schmangin. I'm glad they don't have random skills that can just put a hole in me. Hey, wait a minute. You did damage to him. That's not fucking cool. Well. Not much I can really do about this here that there. Mm. Come on. Come on, Soth. I thought you were fast. Feeds are fast. You're not fast. You're none of that shit. <laughs> Am I gonna run out of fire tome uses? I've used 12 of them. That's a couple. That's not like a small amount. Oh, I should definitely put that long sword on. Seven. No one has below 17 defense. They <laughs> not a single one has below 17 defense. That is fucking worthless to me. All right, cool. Hey, at least we're gonna we're getting close to a level up with Septimus. Septimus Prime. Ah, oh, he needs just like what? Come on, one more magic. I saw those growths. Fucking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Numbers are up. Bad guys are down. <laughs> I love this. I love this bus ass. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll get me. You'll get me eventually. When, although when I get a strength point, dude, you are in trouble. You are destroyed. You're, there's gonna be no. Sur oh my god, I crit. Let's go. And I can't use the long sword. All right. All right, you got me. That was a good joke, good joke. All right, just hit me like 25 more times. Everyone just hit me like 25 more times. I will get strength growths like you've never seen, buddy. Hey, kill him in one. One round and Shinon's already off to a good start and he's gonna level up again, so. Hilarious. Still not 100% sure why they prioritize me because I think they can damage soft, but whatever. All right, and with that we're just we're winding down chapter one We have the beast of the party the mage the fire mage Shinon With the goodest of stats with no HP, but as long as it doesn't take damage I guess it doesn't matter how much health he has. You know, fuck you. I'll, sl I'll slap you for that extra two <laughs> I'm look This is fire emblem the, the tank is fulfilling its role of being a tank. It's absorbing damage. The mage is doing damage. Magical damage. Uh, this is normal. This is this is actually like the most accurate one. This is an FE7 soldier. Like that's that's literally what they're made to do. Oh my god. Shinon Carius, daddy, please. Uncle <laughs> racist. Oh no. I can see why I didn't want to go after Shino. It's not looking good for him. I'll slap that for that. That 2 XP. Gotta get it where you can get it, you know. And we're gonna get boss experience with Paragon. I hope there are guys I can... Oh, I should have been training my sword rank. I should have been training my sword rank on those guys. That was probably the best time to do that. Oops. That's okay, though. We have Shinon. Look at him go. What a, what a maniac. What a psycho. <laughs> He's ready to kill. All right, well, that was, uh, the cowardly Seth Nurse lives again. He's his armored knight class as he always was, so I guess it works out. <laughs> Yikes. Yay, 63, and I did confirm my last run that is, in fact, bonus, but it'll be more as we go, so don't worry. <sighs> Good to be back, baby. It's already starting out goofy and weird. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed, and we'll see it next time. Oh, question of the day. Uh, favorite part of a randomizer? I I think mine is always stats. Stats are always fun, but I've been really enjoying random characters. I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.
Thank you.